Dr. Brister, welcome to the Pet Buzz. Thank big, you. The big question is, <laughs> do our pets really love us? I got to know. It's a great question. And of course they do. They absolutely love us. Um, any pet owner will say that Fluffy loves me just as much as, you know, I, I, their own child half the time. Um, I, I would say that the complexity of that love is going to be a little bit different. Um, for humans, there's so many different facets of love. Um, there's romantic love, love between a mother and child, love between friends. And for dogs and cats, the love is just a little bit different in that it's more you're part of the social circle and you're, you're in the club. Um, and in that way, you're, you're a part of them and they like you, they love you. So how do dogs show their affection for us? Generally, dogs are very social creatures, so they show their love by wanting to be near you all the time. Um, they come to you for being petted and for snuggling. They want you to play with them. They're going to follow you from room to room. Uh, I know a lot of pet owners joke about the fact that they'll leave the room for 30 seconds and come back and the dog is just so happy to see them. Oh, mom, you've been gone for so long. <laughs> so dogs just, they're very social and they want to be with you. What about cats? Because we have a lot of cat owners out there and cats are, they're different. They don't, I don't think show. They love you in the same way dogs do. That's true. Cats are, they're very different. I mean, cats are not small dogs. They're a whole different species. Um, they're very solitary creatures. And so they tend to be more discerning with who they let be part of their social circle. Um, but just because they don't show their love the way a dog does, doesn't mean that they don't love you. Um, they just like to do things on their own time. So they'll still come visit you. They'll rub against you and get get their scent all over you so that everybody knows you're part of their social circle. Um, but it's always going to be on their own time for sure. How can we show our affection towards them this Valentine's day? One of the most important ways that you can show additional affection is spending more time with your pet in the way that the pet wants to. So for a dog, that means playing in the backyard, going for walks, especially going for walks in new places, uh, playing with a toy together. Uh, for cats, cats are little predators. So their playtime usually involves trying to find prey. Um, so a laser pen or using like a little feather tool or a, a jingly toy, stuff where they get to act like <clears throat> the predator um, and, and chase around the prey. Uh, those are kind of the games that they enjoy doing. One great gift for Valentine's Day for cats, and a lot of cat owners don't do it because they don't really know they exist. You know, those puzzle toys that we give to our mm -hmm. dogs, we can give those to our cats. And that's a great way for them to like be active and stimulate their mind and their body. Any other You're things? absolutely right. You know, any other things you can think of? Just making sure that their health is taken care of. Um, so embrace pet insurance and other types of pet insurance are, are great ways to ensure that if an issue arises, the pet owner is able to care for the pet when they get sick right then. Um, so that's definitely another good way that you can make sure that you're taking care of your pets on Valentine's Day. Such a great suggestion, yeah. too, because health care for pets is becoming more and more expensive. Pet insurance is that which can assist in paying bills that are especially when these, you know, unexpected things come up, you know, truly I mean, unexpected. so many people, you know, as we move out of the winter into the spring, a lot of people get puppies this time of the year. And, you know, especially with kids, they run out in the street. You just never know what's going to happen or a dog with, you know, a specific health condition. So insurance is something that you and I both believe yes. in. And we were so glad, Dr. Brister, that you were here. And I think that's a great, a great gift for Valentine's Day right? Just to ensure that your pet stays healthy and that you can afford to take care of them. So thank you very much for suggesting. Maybe, maybe your pet won't recognize it right away because he doesn't see it, <laughs> sign the document, but it's so important when they get sick that it'll be helpful for them. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Brister, for joining us today. Can you give us your website before you leave? EmbracePetInsurance.com. And in addition to looking at the insurance options on the website, you can also go to their Water Bowl blog, which has a lot of really great health articles and uh, pet maintenance articles, even stuff as simple as how to give your dog a bath or a nail trim. So it's a really oh, awesome. great website for pet owners. Yeah. Thanks for viewing our content on Pet Buzz Plus.